In this module, I shall introduce you to a constant air volume system. Commercial buildings use central air handling units to distribute air throughout the building. The first and simplest method adopted for maintaining comfort was using constant air volume systems. Let me describe constant air volume systems to you. In these systems, a constant volume of air is delivered to meet the ventilation requirements within the building. To provide a comfortable environment within the building, the air is heated or cooled as required by the digital controller, modulating a coil control valve. When constant air volume systems are installed, problems like poor air distribution, inadequate ventilation, or overheating are less likely to occur. Thus, we find that this is a simple system that provides comfort. But, this comfort is provided at a high cost for energy. Today, the consumption of fan motor energy, combined with the cost of heating or cooling of excess air, has caused constant air volume systems to become less desirable and variable air volume systems to be preferred. Conversion of a CAV system to a variable air volume system is easy to accomplish with a VLT-HVAC drive. We shall look at a traditional constant air volume solution. First, let me list the various components in it. A typical constant air volume system consists of the following parts. Heating and cooling coils. Dampers. Sensors. Digital controller. Fan. A room or return air sensor is used as an input to the digital controller. The controller heats or cools the discharge air by modulating the dampers and valves on the heating and cooling coils to meet the needs of the building occupied zones. Outside air is drawn in by the air handling unit fan and is mixed with the return air by modulating the outside and return air dampers. The exhaust damper is modulated in parallel with the outside air damper to prevent building overpressurization. When the room temperature is below set point, the outside air damper is at a minimum position required for ventilation codes. As the room temperature increases, the controller commands the heating valve closed and modulates the outside air damper open to maintain set point temperature. After the outside air damper is 100% open, next the controller commands the cooling valve to open in sequence with the damper. When outside air is too warm to be used for ventilation, the controller commands the outside damper back to the minimum ventilation position. The graph shows the outside damper position. The supply air is then distributed through the ductwork to each zone within the building. Individual room terminal units are sometimes used for final tempering of the air. It is to be noted that the fan is either on or off depending on the requirement. The fan is on with a maximum flow or off. Take a look at the illustration. You can notice from the graph that, when the fan is off, the flow is zero, and hence there is no pressure. Similarly, you can see that, when the fan is on, the flow is maximum, and hence, the pressure is high. Thus, we can see, that in the traditional solution, when the fan is on, the energy consumption is maximum, 